Uh, this is Transformers Universe Deluxe Class Tankor, Triple Changer, or if you want to call him Octane, as he was known in G1. This is a review request, and I'm doing this because out here in Manila, um, all TFU Deluxes are on clearance for oh, $8, I think, down from $14. A big price drop, uh, especially for us who live here. So if you still haven't gotten him, and you can still find him, um, go get him. He's, uh, I mean, for $8, he's okay. He, he was one of the first uh, figures, um, part of the first wave of TFU Deluxes. Um, he doesn't have very good alt modes. Uh, one is definitely stronger than the other. The plane mode, the biplane mode is definitely better than the truck mode. Truck mode does seem a little bit forced, but uh, I think, in my opinion, he, his strongest mode is in robot mode, as you can see. Uh, very nice looking robot mode. He's got two guns. Uh, you can mount both guns together, and he can form a quadruple barreled gun, um, which is okay. But I like him. I like him with uh, two guns blazing like cowboy. Uh, his head can rotate side to side, but it's can rotate 360, but it's hindered by uh, th these um, frames right there. Uh, elbow. The shoulders have two joints. There's one joint right here due to transformation. It is on a ball joint. Another ball joint here ball joint again on the elbow. Lots of articulation and flexibility on this figure. The wrists do rotate because of articulation. Hips are, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Hips are on a ball joint. You move forward, backward, inside, uh, in and out. Uh, rotate in the upper part. Then at the knee. Toes do move a little bit because of transformation, but that's about it. Uh, if you're wondering how I was able to mount these melee, this was really the point of contention uh, for this figure because it was bloody annoying to have such a huge weapon it's a removable part and you know I, I, I've always said that removable parts of, of the figure that turn into weapons are just laziness on the part of Hasbro but uh, I, I sort of managed to, to lock it at, at the back um, if you if you fold the wings backwards and then just jam the uh, melee in this position with two wings and you can you can angle the melee just like that um, they will form very interesting demon wings, and, and I think he looks better this way. Very Decepticon looking, very ominous, and I think he's a big improvement on the G1 version. But the colors are retained, um, the pale gray, um, dark blue, silver, purple, very nice. It's got a good Decepticon symbol right here, uh, very animated like. Uh, everything's okay. Oh, I wish the fists would have been better defined than just carving it out of uh, out of this piece, but uh, there you go. Alright, let's take off the weapons. Um, give you one last 360 of the figure. Um, you can keep the shoulder heads up or down, doesn't really matter. Um, very nice, even on the back, it's got good detailing. Okay, so let's transform him first to his weaker mode, which is the octane truck or the uh, gasoline truck. Uh, get rid of the melee. Um, this, this piece will attach and form wheels for the biplane. Uh, for the yeah the, the aircraft yeah, just like that okay. Um, okay just fold the wings back oh fold the wings up okay uh, go ahead and fold the head down you you, you can fold these um, these uh, chest pads all the way in front and then move them down and then move the head down but you don't have to I think you just have to just unlock it slightly and then just just push it down oh. right like so so you don't break the joints then collapse it back okay um, okay what do you want to do next uh, okay um, here's what you want to do I guess you want to um, okay, you want to bring uh, the hips back, okay, and then just collapse the feet, uh, the lower legs into his thighs, close, close everything, and then uh, just fold the wings in between. Uh, no, I think you're supposed to sandwich the wings, yeah, okay. 
if you can find the Takara version of this figure, they're not as different. Got the same color, plastic molding about them. You're really not missing a lot if, if you buy the, this one uh, over the Takara. The only difference is you'll have chrome guns and a few more chrome bit, I think. But it's the guns that really make a difference. But uh, everything else is relatively the same. So if the Takara, the, if, 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 you know, um, Takara Henke versions are very expensive and. Um, oh, sorry, you do have to fold it up. My mistake. You can fold it up. Like that. Um, the cars are very expensive, and you know, you can settle for this figure. Uh, you don't have to get a Takara. Just like uh, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe and um, Pro Prowl. Oh no, Prowl, you have to get the Takara, I think. Because he's got chrome side cannons. But uh, this guy, the Hasbro version, is good enough. Okay. Alright, since he's truck mode, you want to position the, um, okay, let me just go ahead and stretch that up. You want to position um, the wheels out. So fold up the shoulder panels right like so, and then um, rotate, rotate the wheels out so that the wheels are facing parallel. Okay. Oh yeah, the uh, melee. Uh, okay, make sure you don't break the propellers. These are very, very weak plastic. I mean, you can you can easily snap off. So, um, and they, they, I think they hinder the wheels from rolling properly. But uh, what can you do? They're there. And lastly, the uh, melee. Just snap it on like so on top of the uh, notches right there okay there is a truck mode the gas tank oil tank truck mode you can mount the guns right here or here whichever you want but uh, uh, a gas tank with guns isn't actually a clever disguise so you, know, you can leave it off um, the box shows the alt mode this alt mode like this so it's cool you think it's cool right the, the picture on the box is like it's cool but then they deliberately hit this, this part because it, it just it's annoying it's got a lot of holes it's a forced mode if you ask me so what can you do right in this case the train mode of astro train i think is the better mode and you'll probably get a lot more mileage if you get the astro train especially the henke version but but this guy's not a bad figure Considering he's a triple changer, he's a good ro uh, robot mode. The plane mode is a lot better, as you will see. So, go ahead and pop this thing off. Um, it's just the reverse. You just full transform everything and make this the front and this the back. Um, okay, you go ahead and snap this uh, part. And, uh, fold, fold the waist down as though he was in robot mode okay and then rotate the feet as though in robot mode and then just join the parts together twist out fold the wings out and that's the back part uh, okay uh, these parts you wanna flip back again okay join together I think yeah there you go uh, fold the, the, the chest piece back down okay and fold the wings it, it, this mode it has a it has a lot tighter uh, 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 pieces panels I mean there's very little gaps you get to see a few here and there but better than the truck mode definitely better than the truck mode um, oops sorry extra wheels there's wheels here here gaps were everywhere you can cover the gaps by mounting the guns right here I mean a plane with guns okay it's not even a I don't think this is a military plane or well, could be it could be a cargo vessel but I don't think it's a military plane to have guns on them I don't know but there he is um, very interesting uh, uh, this is the better alt mode, I think, and yeah, more than the truck mode. 
but it, it, me, in my opinion, the, the best mode is still the bot mode. So there you have it, Transformers Universe, Deluxe Class, Tankor. Thanks for watching.